My brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome once again to Reminder this Ramadan. I want us to sit down, ponder and think right from the beginning of this Ramadan. What have I gained? What have you achieved? Is there something you're still missing? Do you think those things, those things you want to leave before the end of Ramadan, have you started trashing them out? Do you think you're actually on the track the way you plan them? That is what I want us to think of. Because within the twinkle of an eye, you just hear that Ramadan is ending. And that's the way it is because it is a visitor. So we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us benefit from it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of his greatest name is Al-Wadud, which is the most loving. Sometimes we find it difficult to love and be loved as well. There is a difference between when you love people and when they love you back. And one of the most important things that human loves most is to be loved. And they should also love. But sometimes in this very society of ours, people are used but things are loved. And that is the way the society is moving. People are used to get the things they love. Who is the owner of the love? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the love. He has the capacity, the capability to grant you your heart's desire, to grant you whosoever you wish to love, whosoever you wish to spend the rest of your life with. Allah has the capacity. Gone are those days whereby we people marry and that's the end of their marriage. They married for once and that's just it. Without the breakups. But these days you find people, hardly will you find one or two out of a million wherein they marry and that's just once. Most times they marry twice, three times after having a lot of divorces. And that's the way it is. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us all. When you need to love, when you need to seek love, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Wadud, grant me the best of love. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you. The next one is Al Majid. Allah is the most gracious. When Allah loves you, Allah will grant you gracious. Allah will grant you the gratitude for you to thank Him. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Buruj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most loving, is the most forgiving. Allah forgives you, then He loves you. But human beings may not say that. They will tell you, I will not forgive you. Even if I forgive you, I will not love you back. And that's the way it is. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't worry, come here. I'm going to love you and I'm going to forgive you. And that's the way it is. So why not we rush to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is so much happy to see us being loved and being forgiven. The next one is al -Ba'ith. I want you to sit down once again, take a paper and write down and ask yourself, what are those things you've been doing that you feel like you're doing it and you don't know if Allah is watching you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you because he's going to resurrect you. I thought people, you know, sometimes our hands are going to bear witness against us. Our mouth will be sealed on the day of resurrection. Our eyes is going to talk more of us. Whatever we've used them to do, Allah says those things are going to bear witness to us. And that is the thing we need to put at the back of our mind to think that these things which I'm using them for are going to bear witness either for me or against me. Why not use them in the right way? Why not channel them in the best way? And that is the way we are going to fall in the right path. Oh Allah, 
grant us the opportunity to seek request of being loved from you. Oh Allah, grant us the ability to seek for your gracious. Oh Allah, grant us the opportunity and grant us the mindset to think that on the day of resurrection, you are going to rise us and our body are going to be a witness against all for us. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm Abdurazak Adebi Simonsro. I'm a student, an economist, and a fashion designer. And I am Odebode Amina. I'm a student and I'm a baker. And we are on the Big IQ Show on Our TV Africa. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm anxious. And well, I'm, I'm happy to be here, right? I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous right now. Your name, so you go. <laughs> it means the provider. <laughs> Prophet Ibrahim Malisa Okay. I think I'm, I'll go I'm for sure. Prophet. Sorry. No, I'm, I think I'm sure. I go for Prophet. Sorry. I, I, I go for Ibrahim. Okay. <laughs> Can we disagree? <laughs> Can we disagree? Yeah. See. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I have like 90%. See. So. <laughs> and if it turns out wrong? If I had not touched people, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay, think, we'll go with Prophet Brian then. You can break my house. Yeah. Comrade, up to you. No, I've been answering the past questions. Do this one. I don't Any hints? At all. But I like Umar, so let's just move it to Umar. Oh, <laughs> so now it's likeness. Yeah. It's um, not like we know the answer to the question. Let's just do Umar. Well, we'll do Umar. Umar in the Katab. Okay, mm. yes, Umar in Katab. We couldn't Umar. have got it right either way, so. <laughs> Surah to Tin. I'm very sure. You better get this one. What? I would be like, no, she told me, James, be like, Rahman, Rahim. Watin, Wazaitun, Watu, Rusini, Waad al Baladil Amin. Time. Yes. yes, very sure. Very, very sure. I think submission. Peace. peace, literally, like direct. Islam means peace. Okay. Yeah. How about the um, submission to the will of Allah is not literal. It's not like Islam. Islam is peace. Okay, Thanks. okay. So we'll go. With peace, yeah. <laughs> Two blows. Believe in the last day. Believe yeah. in the last day. Yes. Day of judgment, yes. It should be the last one. In I mean, as articles as of faith, faith. Yes. it's six mm -hmm. in number. So the last one. Believe in the last day. Last day. Yes, day of judgment. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> I 
Four countries that end with A. You mentioned two, I mentioned two. Oh, yeah, you go first. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, Angola. Uh, one. Can you think of any right Algeria. Um, Canada. Okay. Ends with an A, yeah. Armenia. Nigeria. They said four. I mean, we can continue. <laughs> it's been quite simple, actually. Ah ah, continent. Asia, 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 to the West, seven mm. Nigeria, seven. Uh-uh. <laughs> West Africa, just West Africa. Nigeria, Ghana, Gambia, Togo, Togo, Benin, Cameroon, so Cameroon. It's Cameroon. No, it's Cameroon. I don't know. Sure. Syria alone. Syria alone. Ivory Coast is what Cote d'Ivoire. Yep. Ah, I don't. I don't know. Can we be in between? <laughs> like, <laughs> just give me a range. Is it not still West Africa? I don't know. Let's just say 10. Let's give it Bissau. Uh, Where's Cameroon? West. I don't know. 10, please. <laughs> what do we go with? See, we don't ten, know the answer. 10. Ten. Just 10. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we know. <laughs> ah, okay. This was the correct answer. When I was seeing 17. They didn't, it's not like you, if you were sure, you would. But I was close. It's still better than answer. 10. Rest, please. Okay. I was anxious before, but now I feel so glad and happy that I did this, yes. Yeah, after. I flogged them. <laughs> yes. Even though I don't know this cause okay. yet, but yes, I flogged them. <laughs> it felt like four. I did it. <laughs> well, like, but it was interesting. Okay. And yeah, I'm glad that I did it with Ash. <laughs> It's okay. going fine, we're coping. Okay. So um we're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Mutma Inara Mide. My name is Sakina Olajide. I am Hikma Adele. Okay, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you do? What do you guys do? Um, I'm a fashion designer. I design and sew female wears. I'm a bridal wear designer. And okay, yes. sis. <laughs> and a fashion instructor. Okay. We know your brand. We know your brand. Okay, so um I'm a nurse, I'm a registered nurse, and I'm an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur, or whatever it is that it's called. <laughs> I own a business called the Wami Brand. I provide skincare solutions. That's Rami. right, we can see yes. your skin. Yeah, yeah. Yes. we know Rami. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Sakina, interesting, you're a fashion designer. Yes, so I'd like yes. to know, what does your job mean to you? Um, I think my job is very personal because first of all, I like to look good as a Muslim. I like to appear good. Yeah. I want to be seen and you and, and like you are in awe of how I'm able to um, dress so beautifully and still maintain the modesty that we're supposed to um, supposed to maintain. Yeah. So that living my life that way, I also want to like instead of as wanting to motivate other people, I think it started from me when I was in school. And my friends are always compli- we're always complimenting the things that I wore, the way I was able to style them, and everything. Uh, I've always been interested in learning how to sew in itself. So realizing that 
I've, oh, anything I was, I was doing was inclined to styling, sewing, fashion, fashion wanting to just, you know, be that better, better person with modesty and just combine everything together. So I think it runs really deep. My job is love, <laughs> is, is, I mean, I just, I want to yeah. dress that woman and then you're like, bro, she okay. did that. That's, like exactly. that's, okay. that's okay. the energy we're doing yeah, around that's here. Really that's nice. interesting. That's interesting. You are yeah, I'm a nurse. I'm a registered nurse, and basically, nursing means to care. So, I just believe that as Muslims, we're supposed to care for each and every one of us. We have our rights to our neighbors, everyone around us, our family members, and things like that. So, um, basically, my job means caring. No matter the spe uh, specialization, no matter what aspect of nursing I'm focused on. Right now, I'm focused on aesthetics, which is like beauty aspect of nursing. But no matter what aspect of nursing that I'm focused on, it, the baseline is still caring. So basically, yeah. that's 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 just really what that's it means beautiful. to me. Yeah, thank you. So you feel very good. Yeah, I do. I, do, I, do, I feel good every time. It's when like I, a personal reward. Like yeah, I, yeah, I feel exactly. good when people so, come to me. Like they're feeling some sort of way, maybe um, ill or something like that. And then they're going back feeling better. I might not have impacted them in another way, but then they feel better because okay, this person has really, has really cared for me. Yeah. So that's just that's just the reward. The fact that you are able to like put the solutions. Yes, yeah, caring yeah. basically. So how about you? <laughs> okay, so aside the fact that I am a bridal wear designer, I also have this um, fashion academy that I co-founded with some amazing women. That's it's really cool. great. <laughs> yeah. So I teach at the academy because personally I love to teach, you know, I love to put people through things and show them how to do things. So at the academy, I teach fashion design. And for me, honestly, that's like the hi highlight of my career right now. Teaching. Yeah, teaching that's them. Really so being bridal wear designer for bridal accents, you know, seeing these brides come in the first day, getting their dress done from the scratch to finish, then seeing them on their big day, like on their wedding day. Mm. So and looking so beautiful. Energy. So it's very, it's a fact, rewarding enough for me. Yeah, I feel like this is actually yeah. my design. This is my design. I did that. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. beautiful. Um, I think we'll have like all our jobs mean so much to us, and that's beautiful. But yeah. now let's ask, what does Ramadan mean to us? Like right. Ramadan yeah, itself. Yeah, because you know we are fasting. <laughs> so um, personally, I think Ramadan to me just means like a form of resetting. Because at that point in time, whenever it's this point of um, the year, the, the month of Ramadan, I usually try to like go off. I mean, go off socials because that that takes a lot of my time. So I usually that that's like I'm trying to reset basically. So I, I stay off all socials. I mean, you can only contact me by maybe a text message. So it means a lot to me because this is a time to really get closer to um, my dean, to my worship, to to doing the things that I I should usually do normally every day. But then I'm going to dedicate more time to it now. So I, I usually try the hardest. I go I take the extra effort. That's that's good. That's good. So Ramadan for me is more like spiritual closure. I'm quite deep on being spiritual, you know, connecting with Allah directly and establishing that confidence in yourself that Allah listens to me. So Ramadan is like an extra, like the topping. Yeah. That particular period when you can establish that That's strong true. connection that carries yeah. you all year all round yeah. onto the next Ramadan. So, you know, when it's not Ramadan, there are still things that I do all the time. But like Ramadan in itself, there yes, you go the exactly. extra mile, you know. Because you want to that. make it. So I don't, I mean, I still have to work, like regular day-to-day -day work. But like I still try to make it special by removing some things from my from schedule, exactly. introducing some new things. Throughout the year, like I have a journal, I write things that I want to do during Ramadan oh, nice. so that I don't forget. Like, it's that deep for <laughs> it's me. Exactly yes. Yeah. It's, very important. And yeah. it's just so short. It's just 30 days, and you're like, Ramadan is gone just again. 30 days. Yeah. yeah. Ramadan yeah. for me is like the time. You know, when you're like, there's every other time, but like, that is the, the time. time. I know that I have prayers. I pray every day and everything. But in Ramadan, I have a list of like, oh Allah. I want money. I ask for money every day, but I know in Ramadan it's hurt the faster. Yeah, yeah, yes. Because you know that yes, yes and the gates of hell is closed. closed. So oh my do you god! Yes, Ramadan yes. is just always so. I'm always very excited about it. Like I don't even know. Sometimes I try to make plans, but like I'm like, nah, this plans cannot work. Me and my god, we have a mission. We know what we mean. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> 
exactly. Yeah. So I think yeah. that how Ramadan is for me. I mean, it, I mean, I think it, it means a lot to a lot of people actually because yes. it's that month that everybody yes. looks forward to. Mm. I don't think I've ever come across any Muslim that doesn't look forward to Ramadan. I mean, everybody knows that it's not so easy. It's and not, the sharing and caring. Yes, 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 oh, it's really shower. just so beautiful. The like the love is just all around. Oh, Everybody's God. feeling it. Even non-Muslims know that there is a difference. Exactly. Like, this month is actually different. Yes. I, I feel like yes, because of our sacred Ramadan is. I have friends that would stay away from me because they know that we're in Ramadan. It's not like wow. I, I, I indulge in like bad things that they do or something, but they just know that she won't want to gossip. She won't want to hear gist or something. She, yeah, she, she has, doesn't even have time she, for she, that. Exactly. Like, she, so they're like, you know what? Time. Catch you after Ramadan. Yeah. And they know that it's like, <laughs> they, when, 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 when they're eating in front of you, they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But yeah. fam, you can't eat. You, you can't, can't eat. eat. You can't you can't eat. eat. It boils down to how much everyone, rev like the reverence we have yes. for this particular exactly. month. And so. How much we are aware of the weight it carries. Yeah, it, it does carry a lot of weight. Yeah. So we should take a break for Iftar now. Yeah, I think it's time. It is. <laughs> I think that's soon now or something. I, I, yeah. I mean, with dates, it's just on rare occasions, very rare. I'm not a big fan of dates either. Mm -hmm. So I, I use um, smoothies, water and smoothies, so that I can have strength. Okay, so you do I need dates. that instance. Yes, I put, I always put dates in my smoothies, always. Yeah. I prefer to put it, like infuse it into what I'm having than to have it, have it alone, sugar. yeah. I think I even want to change my entire sugar, switch my sugar to dates. dates. Yeah, and really? I think it's Ramadan inspired. Mm. Yeah, I know people so, that use just dates, um, dates syrup. syrup. Yeah. I use dates syrup a lot. Like no lot. sugar, no added sugar. And I tasted a zobo, oh my god, coconut and dates were like the other main ingredients. It's, it was slapping. <laughs> it was really? slapping, yeah. So yeah, I think that's a good I switch. Like I don't think uh, with this, I would just really stop at one, at most two. Uh, I like to do, I like to do odd numbers as well. One, three, five. I don't want for this one. <laughs> it's just for this one. Yeah. Hikma, what's your favorite Ramadan moment with your loved ones? Okay, so aside from the you know attending iftar events, there is this iftar event that we do back home in Ibadan, my family. So all of us gather together, my cousins. Like we are, a, yeah, like a lot a of family. family. Yes, it's always so interesting. Iftar and Sahur, oh, so we are all together, together in the same place. It happens only like that period, just that Ramadan. That's the only time, time we you guys are all come together. Yes, yes. So it's very. I always look forward to it. It's a yeah, very good time really for me. I always look forward to it. Um, for me, I don't know. It's been a long time that I, I just realized now that it's actually been a long time that I had um, Ramadan with my family because it's. I was in school and then I, I came back, I got married. Wow. <laughs> so, um, like, but I would say life. that, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I really love Iftar at home. Like, growing up, Iftar, Ramadan was just really beautiful because we usually have this um, um, memory verses that my mom used to yes, teach us. Yes. We used to sit down before Maghrib, even though we're always so tired. And she's always reading and we're reciting. We always have, every year, we have the memory verses that we have. And then you get rewarded for the number of fasts that you, you oh, did, that you were able to complete. Okay, okay. And then you eat a lot. You really eat a lot. <laughs> right, There's this right. rice and beans that my mom makes during Ramadan. It's it's like oh, a Ramadan so special. Yeah, like it's always so good and you're it's eat, you've eaten a lot of it and you're struggling to say your tarawi and you and everybody has to still say oh tarawi. So you're really it makes me I mean all of that yes, all of that it just made Ramadan so beautiful. Like you have these things to look forward to, the yes. food, the company, you go yes, to the mosque. The company. Yes, you go to the masjid and you're seeing all your friends and everybody exactly. just there, we're just all being goofy. Yes, I yes. mean I, I think I, I think for it. me, like the way you were saying it, it, it just it just brings like lots of memories. memories. Right. It was like I, when I was younger, my dad. My dad used to do the um, if you fast a certain amount of when we were like not really grounded into it. I think that that, that really worked to my older brother and myself. Where the amount of fast you get rewarded by it. But my younger siblings were very inspiring. They kept getting gifts from like six years old. Wow. They wow. complete. And I'm like ah. <laughs> but like wow. like my favorite Ramadan moment is bonding because bonding, we're usually yeah. um is either in school or somewhere else like we're all just scattered around yes. but in ramadan you have to be at home mm. you have to like everybody it has was to be it's just always beautiful i mean 
now I'm married, but like um, even um, the last ten, days, and I, we have a tradition on each day. We have to, we just have to be together. Like everybody just have to be in the same place. Now my, my husband and I are trying to like build a tradition where we visit. We make sure that both parents they have oh, like that feels, inclusion yes, in, on yes, every yes. each day. So like yes. I don't feel like I'm missing out. When I when the first year I felt kind of. I felt left out, like, oh God, I always have eat with my siblings. What will happen mm -hmm. now? <laughs> yeah, then we, we actually had to like talk it out and like, you know what? We can do both. I mean, yes, yes, because you are both in Lagos. Exactly, I mean, your, your, your exactly. exactly. In, I mean, imagine someone that your in laws are far away here in another state and then the other in laws. Exactly. It doesn't so work. Like, yes, exactly. Yes, but I'm, I'm really happy that you have that. Yes, it's just them, so, beautiful, yeah. so beautiful, so beautiful. Alhamdulillah. 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 Oh. So just serve us. Alrighty. It looks exciting. It looks really nice. I, I don't like the to taste a lot match up to it before um, Tarawi, right? Yes. Exactly. So let's just have a taste and then we'll eat more after Tarawi, right? Yeah. That would be nice. It looks yummy. Yeah, it, it does. The taste needs to like match up I, with I, I, this yes, aroma. I'm really strong. Excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to taste this. Yeah. It looks really nice. It looks yummy. Okay. So, um, can I have my fork? Yeah, thank you. Okay. And we'll continue. Right, let me give you. Yeah, please. Can we have this plantain? Mm, okay. Thank you. That's okay. If you are. Mm. Ooh, spicy. Mm. This does taste nice. This is actually really yummy. Okay, matches up. Yeah, it, it matches does, up. It yeah, does. it does. I'll definitely wait this. Um, mm. I don't know. It's really nice. I mean, I, I don't really wait for Once it's sweet, trust me, I will eat That's it. That's sweet. <laughs> but this can go for like a seven or eight or eight. Yeah. This is really good for me. I'll give it nine. One for Allah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, seven or eight, just for... Um, let's not give them everything. Nobody yeah. gets past mark. Well, I think for like everything together, the plantain needs a little more work. It is saggy, but I like, I like my plantain drier, so... And plantain is a very important part of this meal, so I, I removed the three. I removed three, <laughs> <laughs> three for my plantain, yeah. seven for the pasta. The pasta yeah, is the pasta very is good. It's very, very good. good. Yeah, the pasta very is very and good. And carrots, I think carrots are still in season, right? So I can see yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some yeah, chunks of carrots in Carrot tastes very good in everything. Yeah, it so does. Almost everything. Not, I will actually give it eight. Sekina is the one giving them seven. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> seven. It's fair, it's past. Come on. Yeah, it's yeah. pass. It's pass. So, I'm I like it. Good. This so is really good. This is really good. Thank you. Thank you. Please, we need the recipe. We need the recipe for this right. Thank right. you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.